Here's the course webpage. It's the most important place for you to get information about this course and what you need to do to be successful. Here's the front page. It has some basic information as well as a cartoon that I think really illustrates the most important thing to do to do well in this class, and that is practice. Practice, practice, practice. By practicing a lot with what we teach you in this class, you'll definitely succeed. Now let's go through a few of the tabs here in this page that will tell you the important information about lab, lecture, and assignments, as well as how your grading will work and many other important pieces of information. First, the general tab. This general tab will serve as a place for all kinds of important information, like who your instructors are and how to contact them. Also, where lectures are and when they are. They're going to be online using Zoom. About labs, about problem sets, how to submit homework, how to get help, links for the textbook and the computing environment, as well as information about other courses like H211, A591, and most importantly, important policies for this course. Those policies include our academic honesty policy and the sexual misconduct policy. Please read and understand those policies and contact me if you have any questions. Creating an honest and open and safe environment for all of our students is extremely important to me and I will be making sure that it happens in this class. The next page I want to talk about is lectures. Here we can see a link to the first lecture and right here when it's due. Each lecture will have a sequence of short exercises that you'll need to do and complete and submit by the due date. Lectures are Monday and Tuesday depending on whether you're in C or H211 and lectures will always be due at 7 p.m. on Tuesday and on Thursday. Now we've clicked on this link. Now we've clicked on this link and we can see the first lecture. It's about using Dr. Racket, installing it, signing up, and performing arithmetic. You can see that there's a number of embedded videos in this page that explain important features of what you need to learn. These lecture these These videos will take the place of the usual lecture content in a course like this. You'll also see some exercises directing you to do things. You'll need to submit something at the end of this uh, showing that you've completed the exercises. For example, here we see something about exercise 6. At the end, we have a link to all the code used in this lecture, as well as links to the textbook for further information. Now let's look at the labs page. Here we can see exactly one lab, the first one, and when it's due. Labs are held on Thursday and Friday, depending on when your course schedule is, but they'll always be due at 7 p.m. on the following Saturday. Here's the first lab. It's a getting started lab, and you'll see it has a number of assignments. It tells you how to submit it, and it has all the work that you'll need to work on. Here's the problem sets page. Each week in Here's the problem sets page. Each week, including this first week, there'll be a problem set due 
on Wednesday at 7 p.m. You'll need to submit that using the Handin server in Dr. Racket. If we click on this problem set, we can see what we need to do. This problem set is about painting a date. You can do this in any way you like, and there's a lot of detailed instructions on this problem set. One thing you'll notice is that there are One thing you'll notice is at the end, there are some extra fun exercises. Those extra fun exercises are required for students in H211, but optional for students in C211. The Due Dates tab provides an overview of what's coming up in C211. You can see that there's one upcoming lecture, one upcoming problem set, and one upcoming lab at the moment. While we're in the swing of the course, we'll see lots more due dates on this page. Here's the lab schedule page. This tells you when the labs are and what time they are. Labs will take place using Zoom and we'll provide information on which Zoom link to use in Campus Wire. The labs are listed by letter and we'll be referring to those letters when we try to talk about labs. That's a summary of what's available on the web page. The web page is the best place to get information about what's happening and what's coming up in the course. Please check into it often.